In the final section of our class, we're going to review different shape types and consider how they handle documents. Simple shapes perform actions that do not change the document contents or flow. These would be set properties, notify, and program command. They don't modify document flow or the document contents. They are executed once per document that reaches the shape. Now the notify does have a write once per execution option, meaning it will execute once per document group rather than per individual document. Conditional shapes perform logic to assign documents to one of several result paths. These include decision, root, business rules, try catch, cleanse, and find changes. With these shapes, each document is evaluated individually and assigned to one of several result paths. And these result paths have a defined execution order and are executed sequentially. The decision will route documents on an, a true path or a false path. The root shape, the paths execute in the order defined with the default path always running last. Business rules can operate the child node level of documents. The try catch differs in that the catch path is executed only if a document failure occurs in a subsequent shape. And then find changes. This differs slightly in that one document enters and is internally split and then assigned to a create, update, or delete path. Here's an animation illustrating the effect of the decision shape on document flow. Documents are not duplicated, but are separated based on the decision logic result. The true branch executes first with all true documents. and then the false branch executes with all non-true documents. Branch shapes send a copy of the same document to every path. These are executed sequentially based on their auto numbering and changes to the document made on one path are not reflected on subsequent paths. Each path gets a copy of the document in the state in which it reached the branch shape. Connector shapes execute interactions with internal data sources. Send connectors do not impact the document instances, but can replace an inbound document that is posted to a target with a return code document. And get connectors do a new query and completely replace the inbound document stream with a new document set that can have completely different characteristics as to profile, grouping, and document ID. Data modification shapes change the data contents of documents. These shapes act at the profile level and typically ignore document batch or group properties of the document stream. So these are the map, the message, and load from cache. A map shape will act identically on grouped documents or a single document stream, as will business rules. Map shapes can change the instantiation of the document stream through looping, identifiers, and qualifier settings. Message shapes modify data by replacing the data with an unstructured text, so there's no profile. And then the load from cache shape replaces the current document with a previously cached document, including the data and the document properties. The data process shape performs actions upon a document as a whole or even across the entire group of documents. You can combine multiple documents into one, split a single document into multiple documents, 
and perform custom document data and group transformations with custom scripting. The process call shape passes documents to another process or invokes a new process execution. If the sub-process start shape is data passed through, then the entire document group is passed to the sub-process for further processing. If the sub-process's start shape is a connector, trading partner, or no data, then a new execution of the sub-process is spawned per document. Process calls to no data pass through subprocesses can be configured not to wait for the subprocess to complete. Instead, documents will immediately continue to the next shape in the calling process instead of waiting for the subprocess to complete. The return document shape passes documents back to a calling process. This could be from a subprocess to the calling parent process. And if a subprocess is configured with multiple return document shapes, then multiple paths are created from the process call shape in the calling process. This shape waits for subprocess execution to complete before passing documents to the calling process as a group. This shape is also used with web service listener processes to return responses to the web server. Here is an animation that illustrates the effect of the process call shape on document flow. Two documents appear at the start shape, and then the documents are moved to the sub-process call. The pass-through brings those documents in from the calling process. The branch creates a copy. The documents process down path 1 and then path 2. Then, documents from both branches regroup and are returned via the return document shape as a single group. The single document group is returned to the parent process for further processing. And this is useful when a process must create additional documents for a target, like a batch summary records. Next, we'll look at path completion shapes, which are end-of-the-line shapes that do not allow for subsequent shapes to be executed. These include stop, exception, add to cache, and connector. The stop shape terminates a given path without error and allows documents to continue on to other paths. The exception will terminate the current path with an error. The add to cache adds documents to a document cache so that they can be used in a process or sub-process. Then a connector with send actions for certain connectors do not return documents. This includes disk, FTP, database, mail, and so on. Now let's look at a summary of document flow. Remember that documents flow together. All documents are processed in a shape and then continue on to the next shape. Documents flow down one path, then the next. And documents can have different paths. Documents can flow as a batch of logical records or as a single logical record. Shapes act differently on documents and batches and can modify document groupings into batches and split them out of batches. Branch type shapes impact document flow. Branches process sequentially to completion and independently, and decision shape paths have precedence. 
document failure changes execution path, and also batching impacts path.